So I'm starting off with the Nivea Men Co Shave Balm. I really like this as a primer. I've been using this for, I wanna say, a month now, and I love the way my makeup looks when I use it. I am breaking out. Well, while I filmed this video, I was breaking out. But during that time of the month, I either break out really badly or I have really bad cramps. And this was clearly a breakout month. So I, I do have on my Nail Her Squaletto Set and Spice. I have a lot of people asking, so I, I just wanted to mention it. And then for foundation, I'm using L'Oreal's True Match. I've been using this a lot lately I like the coverage it's very light um, I know I'm breaking out like crazy I probably should have used like a heavy-duty um, foundation but I just wanted my face to breathe I wanted a little bit of a glow so I decided to go with this I do like it a lot like I said it's very light coverage but it looks nice so I went with it and you'll be able to see the way my face looks um, at right here this clip this is my foundation I like it it's not too bad and then moving along to primer I am using the Urban Decay eyeshadow a primer potion in Eden as usual and then just blending all of that out with my finger. To set my eye primer, I'm using the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder as usual and I'm just packing that on the lid with this Real Technique setting brush. And then I'm going into the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette and I'm picking up the shade Strapless, which is a really, really warm toned brown. And I'm gonna be using some ColourPop eyeshadows and I don't like ColourPop shadows in my crease, so that's why I'm using this palette. And I'm doing a very warm look, so I thought this would be perfect. So I'm just putting a couple layers of Strapless in my crease and also right above. And then I'm going to be moving on to, what is this shade called? Chocolate Cookie, which is also a very warm toned brown. And I'm going a little bit more precisely into the crease with this Sigma E25 brush. Um, and I'm just buffing that in, not going as far up as I did with Strapless, but I'm just focusing it more into the crease. And then I wanted to add a little bit of coolness into this look. I mean, not too much. So I mixed uh, Sexpresso and also Risqué, and that's going right into to the crease as well. Same brush, Sigma E25. So now it's time for the ColourPop eyeshadow in Porter. This was created by Kathleen Lights. I did not pick up her palette or her quad, um, but I just picked up Porter and also Weenie, which I'll be showing you later. I'm putting Porter right in the outer V of my eye, and it's so cute. Porter is her dog, so it's, I, I don't know, I feel weird saying Porter, and it's not even my dog. So I'm just putting that, like I said, right in the outer V, and with ColourPop eyeshadows, you wanna use synthetic brushes. Of course, you can use your uh, fingers, but synthetic brushes, I think, work to be best. Both of those brushes are from the Morphe Vegan set and usually I don't like to use like a blending brush with ColourPop eyeshadows But this one worked really really well So a synthetic shader brush and then also a synthetic blending brush if you have those two you will be good to go So I'm just packing Porter like I said right in the outer V and then blending it out And I'm gonna do those same exact steps to my other eye So now it's time for Weenie, and I'm gonna be placing this shade all over my lid, and when I put this on, guys, I was like, oh my god. This is by far the most beautiful eyeshadow I have ever used. It is gorgeous. It is, seriously, my favorite eyeshadow ever. I think she did an awesome job. So congrats, Kathleen, not that you're watching this video, but just in case, it's gorgeous. So I'm just placing that all over the lid like I mentioned, and I'm kind of blending it in with porter so I have like a nice smooth gradient. And then I'm going back into Strapless with this same blending brush and just blending everything together. I want everything to look nice as usual, so I'm blending all of that out. For concealer today, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. To be totally honest, this concealer is so drying on me, so I'm kind of just trying to use it up. It is like heavy duty, it covers everything, but it's just so drying, I cannot take it. So I'm cleaning up my eyeshadow edge as usual and um, concealing my dark under eye circles. Of course, I'm just applying some more of Porter just to intensify the look a little bit. And then I'm taking, I believe this is from um, her first palette where the light is, excuse me, it's called Glow. 
and Mihayo, oh my god, he looks so scary. I apologize, but I'm just using that shade as a highlight. And then I'm going into the um, Too Faced Natural Matte Palette again and taking Heaven and just blending all the edges out. I really like to do that, and I feel like it makes a huge difference. So now to just set that concealer, I'm using the NYX Banana Powder. And I love this NYX powder. It's awesome, and it's very brightening. Even if you have pale skin, it will brighten up your under eyes very well. So after that, I'm doing my eyeliner as usual, following that shot edge and I'm using the Physicians Formula eyeliner in black. I almost said brown, but I'm using black today. So for the lower lash line, I'm taking Porter and this is going to be on the outer half of the lower lash line. And then for the inner portions, I'm going to take Weenie and then just line right underneath there so I have a nice little gradient happening. So quickly for mascara, I'm using L'Oreal's Telescopic. I'm just doing a couple coats to my top lashes, my upper lashes, is that what they're called? Upper lashes. And then I decided, hey, why not do a little, like a small coat to my lower lashes? And I'm still working on that. I, I don't know how I feel about lower lash mascara. Um, I'm going to line my waterline with a black eyeliner, and this is by L'Oreal. It's the Matte Matic. And then to just set my whole face, I'm using L'Oreal's Infallible Pro Matte Powder. And then for contouring, I'm using NYX Taupe Blush and just contouring my cheeks and my temples. I'm using one of my favorite bronzers today. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in number 15. I use this so often, but it's so expensive and I love it, so I just want to get my money's worth. I love the way warmer tone contour powders look on me. I think I finally have realized warmer tone contour powders is the way to go, for me at least. And then, um, so I'm just bronzing up, and then for blush, I'm using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Gold. I love to use this for blush. It's so like warm and glowy, and I thought that it went with this look like perfect. And then for highlighter, I'm using the Pro Sculpting Duo in 01 by Makeup Forever. And you guys see how pretty this highlight is. Like, hello, you have to get it. It's so pretty. If you want like a good amount of highlight on, use the setting brush. Or if you just want like a light amount, you can use this e.l.f. fan brush and it works wonderfully. Wonderfully? Is that even a word? I don't know. But um, I just did that clip because I was doing it for my um, best face brushes video. But anyway, I'm lining my lips with Jordana's Tawny Lip Liner. And then I used three different ColourPop liquid lipsticks. I can never choose, so I'll leave all three down below. But I always put like 50 million lip products on. Um, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love how warm and glowy it is. I hope uh, you guys think it's pretty too. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye!